Before the age of the twilight set upon the gods, a legend rose to claim his place among them. Hello everybody, this is Brad bringing you the Powered Panda review of God of War 3 for the PlayStation 3. And wow, that looks pretty painful. This is a series that has spanned two console generations and it's kind of hard to believe that this game came out almost a year ago because quite frankly it's the best of its type and nothing's really surpassed it yet. But before I talk about the game, I want to talk about this. Yes, I know the cover doesn't technically affect the gameplay in any way, but if you're going to package a AAA title like this, it deserves some recognition. Remember God of War 1's cover? Pretty cool, huh? You got Kratos looking pissed off as ever with Mount Olympus hanging out back there. How about God of War 2? You got Kratos pissed off again looking at some tall ominous building out there. So these covers are pretty similar, right? Then what the hell happened here? You have Kratos, he looks kind of pissed I guess, but I mean that's just a small part of his face. And a lot of epic, and I mean truly epic titles, have covers like this. Look at games like Metal Gear Solid 4, Killzone 2, and I'm not saying these games are bad, but their packaging is pretty friggin lazy. Come on designers, can we zoom out from the face, maybe get some background action? And by the way, the back of the game says, and I quote, in the end, there will be only chaos. Who had the stupid idea to put that on a box? That's like if you're designing the packaging for Empire Strikes Back, and you say, right on the back of the damn box, oh, Darth Vader turns out to be Luke's dad. I mean, come on, guys. You just don't talk about the ending like that. <sighs> All right, rant's over. Let's get to the actual game, which, by the way, is awesome. But is that really a huge surprise to you? Because, after all, the first two games were amazing. So, it's like, the third one was amazing too? No way! Alright, I think you got what you needed. Game's great, and the review's over. What? Not satisfied? <sighs> alright, alright. This one picks up right where the second left off, with Kratos on Gaia's back about to wage war on Mount Olympus. Obviously, the Olympians are pretty pissed off about this. Now, some games start off really slow, looking at you, Heavy Rain, but this one, not so much. In about a minute, you're dismembering skeletons on the shoulder of a moving titan. Not enough? How about this? The first boss of the whole game is twice as big as any of the bosses found in the first two games. Yeah, I could keep dishing out these fun facts all day, but what you want to take away from this is that the scale of the game, meaning the sheer size of everything you encounter, is bigger than any other game on the market which means bosses are epic. Remember how you thought the bosses in Shadow of the Colossus were big? Yeah. Even Kratos' muscles seem to have gotten a size upgrade from past games. But this is one of those sequels where the core mechanics of the gameplay haven't really changed. Yes, the combat's pretty much the same and puzzles are extremely easy to solve, but really, who's complaining? The combat was great in the first game and it's perfect here. You also pick up some different weapons along with other items, and admittedly most of the weapons are the same with the exception of the Cestus, but hey, as long as they get the job done, I'm happy. So combat's good, gameplay's solid, what do we got left? Presentation! And let's get straight to the point with this, I think everyone will agree when I say this is one of the best looking games ever created, like ever. Even a year after its release, it's still kicking some serious butt. I don't think most people realize this, but one of the hardest things to do is render a character like Kratos, who always wears very little clothing, and make him look so real. Because the human figure has to be very exact to get it right. And if you notice, characters like Isaac from Dead Space are always wearing body armor, which is much, much easier to render. They also nailed the blood effects and the color, even though I don't quite understand how a skeleton can bleed but whatever. And honestly, this game is a hardcore M-rated game. Like, it's actually pretty graphic. 
And if you need to know, yes, the trademark sex minigame is back. Yay! So if you're a parent watching this, keep your kids away from this game. Unless you give them permission. Like me. Because this game is not all sunshine, lollipops, and rainbows. Oh yeah, that reminds me. Sunshine, lollipops, and rainbows. Everything that's wonderful is what I feel when we're together. Brighter than a lucky penny when you're near the rain goes. Disappears, dear, and I feel so fine just to know that you are mine. My life is sunshine, lollipops, and rainbows. That's how this street So come on. You know, Kratos is probably the biggest douchebag you'll ever play as. I mean, they should have called it God of War 3 Meathead's Revenge. But Kratos' douche status is maybe second only to Duke Nukem. Sometimes I even amaze myself. Uh, okay, Duke. This isn't really about you. Blow it out your ass. Anyways, if you guys remember in the past games, there were a lot of bonus features. Well, same with this one. There's a whole documentary on the making of the game, and some of it's actually pretty interesting. But you can always skip it, I guess. So, the game's amazing, we've established that, but how much should you actually pay for it? Well, if you're a smart shopper and don't buy everything at the goddamn GameStop, then you're looking at between 20 and 30 bucks, depending on where you look. And yeah, you might be saying, but there's no online multiplayer. And that's not really a valid complaint, because this is a game you buy purely for the single player experience. And believe me, if my sister can like this game and beat it, which, you know, she actually did, then I think anyone will get their money's worth out of this game. Because you'll probably want to replay it a few times. So you definitely should... Buy it. Alright, that's just about all I have to say. Uh, hope you guys like, and see you next time.